Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching It Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you guys so very much for joining me today. Today, my friends, we shall take a trip down the rabbit hole. Yes, oh, I, I know. It's very exciting. Okay, so I feel like everyone seems to enjoy these. I don't know. I hope you all do because that's what we're doing today. <laughs> so I hope you guys really do enjoy these. Um, last time I did a book from the library and today even though it's like a week or so later, um, it's only like four minutes later for me, and so I'm going to show you guys the other book from the library. I had a sneak peek last time. So this is Easy Weekend Crochet Hats by Jennifer J. Circa. I will link, try to find this and link it below. Like I said, I got it from the library. So I don't know, it may be an eBay, like a thrift book situation, but I will try said as hard as I can Google, I will try. All right, a ski style collection for the entire family. Ooh, yes, hello. So my plan for this one, ons. So this hat and was like donations. So that's the plan. Okay. So easy weekend crochet hat. So oh, I don't want to show you that. I remember like that didn't happen. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um. Here's the front. Easy weekend crochet hats. Okay. So we have our table of contents. This is getting started, chapter one. Girls hats, chapter two. Boys hats, chapter three. Women's hats, chapter four. Men's hats. Stitch glo glossary index about the author. So hats for everyone. Hats for everyone. One book it said donations. That was my thought. Production, but aren't they cute? Okay, it says getting started. Um, this tells you about tools, about your hooks, about the different parts of your hooks, different names for things. Okay. So yeah, so it just tells you the different tools, different crochet hooks, shows you all the different sorts of crochet hooks. And then this is the other stuff. So scissors, yarn, needle, ruler, stitch markers, which are fun to make, fun to be a part of. Um, pencil, pen, sticky notes, tips and tricks. Okay, this is yarn, so it tells you all about yarn and fiber content. Um, like texture and yarn weight, all those things shows you like the different sizes, stuff like that. Okay, kind of like an intro, as most of them seem to be, which is really cool. It teaches you how to read a yarn label. Um, teaches you about gauge, choosing the right size, how to measure for size, hat sizes in this book, finishing techniques, how to make fringe, which our last book showed us too, how to make tassels and a pom pom, that's fun, um, how to make braids, look at that hat, that's cute, right? right. Um, a running stitch, how to block, okay, chapter one. Girls hats. Okay, it's two cute little girls. Look how fun those are. So cute. Okay, paw prints. <laughs> I love this one. Those little pocket or little pockets for your hands. So you can put your paws in there. So cute. Little ears. So I just thought those would be so fun for little girls that um the shelter. I cannot thank donations. Uh, pixie bonnet, which is super cute. And then let's see if I can show you without showing you. There's the back. It does indeed look like a pixie bonnet. Super cute. Oh, here's what it is. the front part of it. It has flowers. It's adorable. I would wear that. I know it's for little girls, but I feel like I can make it bigger. 
Okay, this one is called Her Majesty. <laughs> How cute is she? Come on. Absolutely precious. Oh my goodness. A little crown. Isn't that pretty? Same thing, I feel like you can make that little bitty and make it into a tiny little baby hat. How fun would that be? Okay, this one is the rainbow set. It's a hat and a scarf. But rainbow. Oh here, let's see that. Let's have it right here now. What about showing you guys the pattern? Yeah, it'll be scarf and the hat. <laughs> That's so pretty. What kind of yarn that is? Let's see. Cascade yarns, Casablanca. It's mohair, I don't know. Okay, chapter two, boys hats. Hmm. Little mohawk hat. That's cute. Okay, this is the Grand Valley. I like that one, yeah, old timey. Shredder. <laughs> that one's adorable. Like any little boy would be happy to have that one just then. The shredder. So. <laughs> okay. This one is so cool. Voodoo. Reminds me of Jack Skellington. So I like it. I like it a lot. Oh gosh. Okay, this is the crown stripes set that didn't come out, but that's what I meant. So there's a hat and a scarf, a little fringe. See, it teaches you to do fringe. There you go. Now we know why. Is cute. And a scarf. There we go. It's adorable. I love those colors. Very boy colors, but those are just cute. And boys don't have to have blue, but I like that a lot. Okay, chapter three women's hats. I like this on the front. Little pearls. So this is the blue diamond. You can see why they call it that. Little blingies on the front. It's really cool. I like that. Okay. Now. That's what that looks like. There's that. <laughs> And this one is the Aspen. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty stitches with that purple. I like that. And then this one is the Serendipity. Oh, it's kind of slouchy. That's cute. I like that. Got like a smidge of a chevron, but it's slouchy. That's really cute. Okay, this is a city slicker set, <laughs> which makes me giggle as a country kid. A city slicker. All right, city folk. <laughs> That's cute though. I like the little band right there. That's fun. And there's the hat. Showing you the pattern, mercy. And there's a 
probably a better picture of it, but we're gonna pretend. All right, so there you go. Sorry, no, it's not a real great photo. Um, okay, chapter four, men's hats. Is the summit. That's really cool. Got little bubbles on it. You guys can see they kind of stick up. It's really neat. Um, that's cool. All right. The ski lift, which I'm loving this one. I have one that has my hometown and our mascot, and I got it. I think my junior year, and it's a hat, and then it scarf wraps around like two times, but it's kind of the same effect. <laughs> it's so good. It's knit, but, but yes, the ski lip. So that one looks like a lot of fun to make. <laughs> you can make it into a scarf. That's always cool. Okay. This one is the peak. They'll have ski names. I like that. That one looks really simple. I like that all about simplicity for sure that is the this is the natural set which is really pretty I like this one a whole bunch that's beautiful that's really pretty At the front of the hat it's kind of slouchy too I love the stitching in that though, that's so pretty. It says that it's skill level easy. Say we tried this one and see, what do you think? That is beautiful. I love that. A whole lot. Okay. And here's our stitch glossary. So those are all for the patterns. So this teaches you the basic stitches the abbreviations, all your things that you need to know in order to make the hats in this book, which is important. Um, special special stitches and techniques. So the magic loop, working in the back hump. So it means the back loop. I don't know what the back hump is. Um, foundation single crochet. an index so you can find the things a metric conversion chart so that's pretty sweet um, about the author this is her let's see some stuff about this um, keep on crocheting there are the blooming crochet hats and go crochet skill builder I want to check out some different books. I don't know. And this is the back of it. So yeah, like I said, I will try to find this one and link it below. Um, yeah, just easy weekend crochet hats. Like I said, I thought there were several of them in here that would be perfect for donations. Several that are perfect for hats not hate, um, which I've planned to make hats for the last little bit. And I usually make a few hats and then somehow they get sent in with donation things to the shelter and they don't ever make it to Hats Not Hate. So this year I'm going to try really hard to make some for Hats Not Hate. Um, it's another reason I really miss my knitting, knitting machine though because I can just kind of whip them all out like crazy and have hats for everybody and that was nice. <laughs> but, but yeah, there are some super cute ones in here though that I'm just all about like that and then this I'm this little girl is so cute. <laughs> I love that. It's precious. Her majesty. She's right there on the back. <laughs> so yeah, I see you just wrap it around. I like that look a whole lot. Like I said, I have one that's, um, yeah, my hometown and our mascot. I used to wear it to football games. <laughs> wrap it around so it'd be warm. <laughs> but yeah, so I like those that are really long and have a dual purpose. Or it can just be like a really long hat and you can like flip it around and whop your neighbor if you want. That's fun too. You know, whatever. Whatever puts your boat afloat. It's fine. So, okay. <laughs> Once again, 
easy crochet oh no mm -mm, no not even close easy weekend crochet hats by jennifer j circa so i will link this uh, down below so i mentioned last time which was just 10 minutes ago for me but it's been a little bit for you but i'm really hoping to get a down the rabbit hole intro so maybe by this one i have it i don't know that'd be cool if you guys have already seen it before i have that'd be fun but anyway i'm trying to do that because I like fun intros for the videos. It's a good time. So, all right. And other than that, um, I'm going to start doing, trying to anyway, doing um, down the rabbit holes either on Wednesdays or every other Wednesday. Just kind of see how it goes. But that's the plan, Stan. We'll see if I follow through. So far, I have not. So we'll see. All right. So I thank you guys <laughs> for going down the rabbit hole with me. Just like Alice. I hope you all have a very, very wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.